fire, man's greatest enemy, strikes at the Creswell Colliery, Derbyshire. Many men lost their lives in this terrible accident. Soon afterwards, a working party was set up by the authorities to inquire into the causes of underground fires and to determine the best means of preventing them. To convey coal in the mine, a system of conveyor belting is used. It was found that the fire was started by frictional heating caused by jamming at the pulleys. The belting is constructed of rubber reinforced with cotton duck. Investigation proved that if a roller became jammed, small pieces of rubber tore away and exposed the cotton duck. This ignited and set fire to the rubber. In turn, burning flakes of rubber set fire to the coal dust and to the rest of the belting. There were two approaches to the problem. The short-term one of fireproofing the cotton duck whilst maintaining the rubber cover. And the long-term one of constructing a belt which was non-flam, both as regards cover and carcass. The first of these two measures proved impractical because of the tendering of the cotton by any kind of fireproof agent. The official research team, however, discovered that the plastics material polyvinyl chloride, PVC for short, if used instead of rubber, greatly reduces the risk of fire. The PVC resin must be combined with a plasticizer, which gives it the necessary flexibility. How this is done is shown here in the laboratory. The whitish powder is the PVC resin, and the water-like liquid is the tritolyl phosphate. The main reason for the fire-resisting quality is that the heat generated by an obstruction results in the softening of the PVC composition, which is thus forced into the fabric and thereby fireproofs the textile foundation. In the form of this free-flowing paste, it can conveniently be applied to the belt carcass where it is subsequently cured. Here in the laboratory, the curing effect of heat is shown by pouring the paste onto hot rollers. The most important group of plasticizers which meet these requirements are the phosphates, made in large quantities for the plastics industry. As we see, the resulting compound is a tough, flexible, rubber-like composition. A piece of rubber and a similar piece of PVC are held into a flame. The fire-resisting qualities of the PVC are clearly shown. At the Trafford Park works of the Geige organization, one of the principal plasticizers required for this type of belting is made in bulk. Geige are leading manufacturers in Great Britain of plasticizers for the plastics industry and every day brings new uses for these products. The development of jet engines for aircraft has brought with it the problem of lubrication. With increased engine ratings and aircraft speeds, the temperatures of bearings and gears go up correspondingly. On the other hand, at the high altitudes reached by this type of aircraft, extremely low temperature conditions are encountered regardless of season. The great distances covered in a relatively short time introduce further extremes of temperature conditions. In other words, the operations of jet aircraft are such that within a few hours flying time, temperatures ranging from Arctic winter to tropical summer have to be catered for. As far as the engine is concerned, a thin mineral oil would permit of efficient operation at low temperatures, but heavily loaded gears would not be adequately lubricated. It would also be too volatile for satisfactory use in the hot parts of the engine. Conversely, should an engine cut out at high altitudes, a mineral oil of low volatility would be too stiff to allow restarting at the low temperatures encountered. The jet engine, therefore, has called for the development of entirely new materials, and the answer has been found in the synthetic lubricants.
Geige have for many years manufactured plasticizers used to impart flexibility to plastics compositions such as PVC. Such materials become brittle at minus 20 degrees centigrade, but by the use of special plasticizers, flexibility is retained. These plasticizers themselves are liquids and offer the advantages of fluidity at low temperatures and low volatility at high temperatures. With these characteristics, they have made possible the formulation of the new synthetic lubricants. The new Turbo Oil 35, which is based on Geige's dinonyl sebacate and similar sebacic acid derivatives, is today used widely in civil and military aircraft. Geige, looking forward and upward, are privileged to have made this important contribution to one of the most outstanding developments in our age. <laughs>